Since launching in 2016, the International Youth Silent Film Festival has been a stepping stone into the industry for many local budding filmmakers. The International Youth Silent Film Festival is a filmmaking competition which challenges filmmakers who are 20 years and under to make a three minute silent film. And they get to choose um, a soundtrack from the 10 musical scores and they develop their film and script around the uh, music, which is um, the Wurlitzer organ. The majority of the people that enter will be doing media studies um, through their school or uh, learning film, filmmaking. Uh, so we do have a lot of schools around the country who uh, participate and um, because it, it's part of the uh, curriculum. Eight silent films created by students from Tauranga Girls College, Bethlehem College and Selwyn Ridge Primary School made the finals. The big winner on the night was Asha Wadsworth who took first place and best female filmmaker. What's different uh, about creating this film to creating a regular film is that you are trying to write the entire story based around this piece of music. So you're trying to hear like the mood and um, what is trying to be communicated through the music. And I think the best silent films are the ones that are written specifically for a piece of music. A group of students from Selwyn Ridge Primary School in Welcome Bay won the Best Production Design Award. We just mostly filmed it on my iPad and then we used iMovie to edit it. I've always been interested in theatre and stuff, so when we had this opportunity, I was like, I would really like to do this because I'm very creative. Caitlin also picked up the award for Best Under 12 Filmmaker. Well, we didn't see any um, other film that used the green screen and it was really challenged, so maybe that stood up. Thanks to COVID, the physical award show was canned in favour of an online event. A lot of them were struggling to get their films completed because we went into lockdown, you know, just before the, the deadline. So, yeah, there was a lot of, of filmmakers that had to adjust a few things and, and possibly change their films slightly or there were scenes that they needed to shoot that they couldn't get around to. But you know, aside from that, I was really impressed with the standard of, of filmmaking. But COVID lockdowns didn't stop these young filmmakers from hitting their deadlines. Actually kind of a benefit for me because instead of being at school distracted with lots of other stuff, I could really focus in on this film and just bust out so many scenes during the, the same day. It was really good. <laughs> it was quite easy at times because we had finished most of the film um, before we went into lockdown, but Caitlin, um, it was on her iPad, so she just edited it up and tweaked it, so it made it look better. Entering the competition can lead to bigger things in the industry. A lot of the filmmakers who enter the competition have then gone on to have their own production companies or they've gone to work on a, a film set um, and basically just further their career so it's a really good place to start. Next year I'm going to Media Design School in Auckland and I really want to um, do CGI there. Um, I think it will just take my films I'm creating to the next level. It was cool because I got to like film it and see like what they were doing and tell them what, how to tweak it and I like that so I think I would like to carry on with it. While the Bay of Plenty is a popular choice when it comes to shooting commercials, traditional filmmaking requires more infrastructure. We've definitely got massive potential here. Um, there are a couple of hurdles, which are our lack of studios, but they are in the pipeline. So, you know, I'm really confident that, you know, we're going to have a, a thriving industry at some point. You can find all the winning films on the Baycourt Community and Arts Centre's YouTube channel. And the next time you see some of these names in the credits, it might just be on the big screen.
quite a few of the graduates from the school I'm going to end up working for Weta Workshops, so I'm really hoping that's where I'll be in 20 years. Gavin Ogden, Local Focus.